All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for waiting. Uh, good morning, great students and parents. Welcome to our webinar. First of all, we are so proud and thankful to have all of you with us this morning. My name is Joko from Great Wall, and I will be the moderator on this webinar. Uh, today's webinar is organized by Great Wall China Education Consultant, and of course, with the greatest support from our lovely partner, Southern University of Science and Technology, and what we call it SUSTEC. As today's topics, it's 100% full scholarships for four years. This includes your tuition fees, accommodation, insurance, and plus your living expenses uh, for 2,500 renminbi per month. It is sound interesting, isn't it? SUSTEC is a STEM university, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it is research-oriented public university located in Shenzhen, a city of China's inform, you know, innovation center. According to Nature Index 2021, SUSTEC is a racing star university, which is the first amongst the world fastest racing university 10. And according to the Times Higher Education, THE, SUSTEC now is ranked number ninth in mainland China and World University ranked 2022, SUSTEC is ranked number 162 in the world. So students, if you think your academic performance is good enough, come and consult with us, Great Wall, and we will be very happy to help you uh, with your application, with your application, sorry, uh, without any service fee at all. All right, before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to students and parents for your participation, and also thank you to our lovely partner, SASTEC. At the same time, I'd like to introduce three keynote speakers from SASTEC. The first is uh, Professor Hao Chi. Hello, Professor Ni Hao, good morning. Good morning, uh, everyone. Okay. Uh, uh, professor Hao Chi is an associate professor and deputy head of the Computer Science and Engineering Department of SASTEC who received the PhD degree from the Duke University, uh, USA, and has been working in the areas of intelligence sensing and autonomous systems. The SUSTEC Center for Intelligent Transportation is under his supervision and has been sponsored by Intel, Huawei, Shenzhen Bus Group, and other companies. Professor Hao has also published more than 100 journals and conference papers in related areas and toward highly integration of real world data sets and virtual world uh, simulation for L5 autonomous driving. The second speaker is Ms. Uh, Long Jing. She is the deputy director of SASTEC Global. Good morning, Ms. Long. Ni hao. Good morning, everyone. Okay, the third speaker, as always, uh, Mr. Isaac Yu as the Recruitment and Admission Specialist of SASTEC. Morning, Mr. Isaac. Ni hao. Okay. Webinar will be divided into three sessions. The first session will be the presentation from Professor Hao, uh, talking about the auto-driving. Uh, second session will be the introduction of SASTEC by Ms. Long and Mr. Isaac. The third question will be the Q&A sessions. So, graders, please be prepared with your questions, or you can type it in the chat box anytime during this session, or you can raise hand and you can speak directly for your questions. Uh, and also to all the participants, if you are really convenient right now, please do open your camera and give best supports to our speakers. Thank you so much. Okay, so are you excited and read, uh, ready to start? Okay. Please, Professor Hao, the time is yours. Okay, so can you see the, my PowerPoint now? Yes, clearly. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a, my great pleasure to present uh, some of the introduction of our research activities at uh, SASTEC. Um, uh, my purpose is to try to not to, you know, bring, <clears throat> educate you too much about this, uh, you know, autonomous driving issues, uh, technologies. Uh, actually, I just want to give you some flavor. Yeah, what's going on in our SysTech? Uh, what usually our 
students are doing um, for their research. Yeah, because I will present some uh, videos, uh, both uh, performed by our undergraduate student and graduate student and uh, post doctor researchers. Yeah. So my topic actually is about uh, uh, L5 autonomous driving. Yeah, it's a, a interesting topic. Yeah, so how can we achieve this L5 autonomous driving uh, technology? Uh, uh, actually, the main components is the data set. Yeah, we know this this uh, trend. This this uh, recent uh, AI technology is based on data set. On the other hand. We, we know once we got this autonomous driving uh, algorithm, we need a, a lot of testing. Yeah? So we need uh, some simulation because we can, it's, if we just uh, use a real car, real vehicle to test our algorithm, it's very, it will be very expensive. Yeah? So I will introduce a little bit about this uh, background and, uh, giving, um, and then I will talk about what, what we are doing, right? So uh, then I, I will uh, predict what will, what will happen for autonomous driving technology. Uh, first, uh, uh, I believe everyone has heard about this L5 full autonomy. Yeah. So uh, actually uh, our current uh, industry is working on L2 and L3. Yeah, L2 is about hands-off, yeah, so it's uh, for some period you can remove your hand from uh, your wheel. Uh, and uh, for L3 autonomous driving technology, it's like the, you can, you know, uh, move your eye uh, away from the, you know, front window. Yeah. So for L5 is uh, like you can totally relax for a period of uh, time. Yeah. L5 is you can totally trust your car and uh, uh, give your car all the uh, authority to drive this car. Yeah, and uh, for uh, at SASTEC, uh, we have a center for intelligent transportation. Yeah. So we are working on sensing and the perception. Um, this is uh, like our eyes and our ear and our skin uh, for sensing. And then uh, we have the research on planning and the decision. Yeah, this is kind of like our brain. Yeah, we make. Uh, uh, all kinds of plans for the route and also make the de motion decision, yeah, how to drive the car, how we, whether we want to change the lane or we want to turn a left or turn a right, yeah, we want to stop. Yeah, so that's planning and the decision. Of course, you know, our car is not a, a individual, individual one. So we, we have the uh, communications between vehicle, among vehicles and between the, our car and the, the uh, roadside infrastructure. Yeah, so this is a communication. Of course, we know the energy is, uh, you know, uh, key technology for the this uh, autonomous driving car. Yeah, if we do not have a, a smart energy management uh, uh, scheme, uh, our car cannot drive too far away. So the uh, the we can see the main technology actually about this autonomous driving. Uh, is about mapping. First is about mapping. Yeah, we want to build the map about the environment. And uh, of course, we also want to localize our car. Uh, uh, maybe some of you may say, you know, we can we have GPS, but uh, you know, the GPS is not so reliable. Yeah, we need the using this camera LIDAR to localize our car. Uh, and also we want to detect and predict the, some you know, other moving vehicles yeah, to avoid the collision. And we also have to need to recognize the traffic sign. Uh, and uh, then we can make the you know, good decision and the planning because our, all our uh, decision have to comply the you know, traffic rules. Uh, of course, you know, the, we have multiple sensors on our car. Yeah, we need the very well uh, calibration results yeah, among those sensors. Yeah, so we, such that we can have the accurate uh, measurement. So that's the six main technology uh, for the autonomous driving. Yeah. And uh, like I mentioned, yeah, this uh, recent uh, AI technology is uh, totally based on this uh, data. It's a, we call it a data-driven AI. 
So, uh, so we need a, first of all, autonomous driving, we need to build our own data set. Yeah, we need a sensor array and uh, using this sensor array to collect uh, data. And we need to store it, store this data and uh, label them. Yeah, because uh, uh, all this data, we have to uh, label automatically or manually about this, this is about, this is a car or this is a, you know, uh, pedestrian, uh, this is a motor motorcycle, you know, yeah. so then we then we can use that data training and testing, uh, train and test our algorithm. Of course, you know, uh, as the time goes by, we need to update our models, yeah, update our algorithm, and then we can apply our model and the algorithm to our autonomous driving applications. Yeah, that's the kind of like a, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the word of, from the point of view of data. Uh, on the other hand, we know uh, we can, the data is, uh, once we collect data, it's a uh, fixed, you know, but we want to test the different, uh, uh, many different uh, kinds of scenarios for our autonomous driving car. Uh, like the, we want to change the weather, you know, we want to change the uh, road, we want to change the traffic condition, right? Uh, so in that case, the data set itself is not enough. We need a many simulation. Yeah. Uh, we, we want to simulate the motion. We want to simulate all the you know, static thing, dynamic thing, and uh, training and uh, testing our autonomous driving uh, algorithm. Yeah. So that's the uh, point of view from simulation. Yeah. We need this. Also, we need a pipeline yeah, from the simulation point of view. Uh, of course, there is a gap between this, uh, uh, you know, data set and the uh, simulation, right? <laughs> uh, because we know that even we play a lot of video game, yeah, it looks very real, but it cannot generate the, you know, truly uh, real data. As a result, uh, we will have some, you know, uh, we, how can we build the confidence for this uh, autonomous driving, right? Uh, this is why people's suspicions about this technology. I think a well, there are many reasons. Yeah, so one of the reasons is like we cannot um, reduce the gap between the data we collected from the physical experiments and also from the data collected from the simulation. Yeah. So if we can remove that gap, at least we can uh, build a much uh, confidence about the users toward this uh, L5 autonomous driving system. So uh, of course, you know this. Uh, uh, like I said, you know uh, this is just the one part of this uh, uh, trustworthy autonomy. Uh, there are many other issues, like the you know unmodeled environment. I mentioned we can build some map for this uh, you know known environment, but uh, sometimes we go to the unknown environment. How can we handle that situation? Of course, the. Uh, about this uh, uh, reliability, safety, you know, during the operation. Uh, also, there is a, a data storage, privacy protection, and also the, uh, we call that a system transparency. So if something wrong, you know, we know how, 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 how it happens, right? Uh, so th this is also the issues for build the trustworthiness of this autonomous driving. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like a, our uh, whole picture about how we, you know, design this trustworthy L5 uh, autonomous driving system. Yeah, it's too complicated. I just give you some idea. <laughs> you don't need to know the details. Yeah, so about the uh, data set, uh, simulation, and uh, verification. Yeah, so it is a closed loop system. So we can build the, uh, hopefully, yeah, in, uh, in one decade, we can build a fully trustworthy autonomous driving system. Yeah. So the like I mentioned, yeah, the many company are already working on this data set. You know, we see the all the Honda, you know, the uh, uh, Waymo, right, uh, and uh, other company new senses. Yeah, they build all these all, all uh, uh, data set. Yeah. O of course, we also build our own, you know, data set. We are sponsored by Intel build the Chinese uh, autonomous driving data set. And also, like I mentioned, we data set itself is not enough. We need to perform this automation. We need to put labels among this data set. Uh, there are many research 
to develop this uh, 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 intonation tools. Yeah. So we also develop our own yeah, intonation tools. Yeah, it's like our uh, tool name is Points. Yeah, Points released uh, uh, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, for the simulation uh, platform, yeah, uh, like the Intel, Microsoft, LG, they also they all released their open source simulation platform. Yeah, uh, 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 other company they also de I think I believe every company de uh, autonomous driving company develops their own uh, simulation platform, but usually they are not uh, open sourced. Uh, even for Chinese company like uh, Tencent. Alibaba, you know, they Baidu. Baidu is a partially open source, right? The other companies they, they keep their uh, simulation, you know, uh, secret. Uh, even for Huawei, right? So we are also working with Huawei to develop their another kind of simulation platform. Uh, they also buy a company for this uh, autonomous driving simulation. They are also working with with uh, our open source uh, simulation platform. This is kind of like our SaaS tech. Autonomous driving data set. Yeah, it's sponsored by uh, Huawei, and we can compare it with uh, Baidu, this Apollo Scape. Yeah, so what's the difference between our data set and their data set? You know, their, uh, their data set now is the largest data set uh, in China. Uh, so we try to be better than them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is also our open source uh, intonation tools for, for this uh, data set and uh, labeling. Yeah. So this is kind of like a demo of how we, you know, these are our tools, open source tool. You can download all the source code and can play around with this autonomous driving data set. And you can, you know, check out which, which all the vehicle, it's a car or it's a bus or it's a truck, right? And also the, uh, and use that uh, tools help you to train your AL, AI algorithm. It's open source. Everything we are doing is open source. This is also a simulation uh, environment. Uh, so for this, we can test the robot. Yeah, it's a robot simulation. So this is kind of like we simulated the data uh, lidar simul uh, uh, lidar measurement. Yeah, so this is our university we build a uh, model geometric model of our university campus. Yeah. Uh, so this is kind of like a, another uh, simulation we are doing like round about because it's a meter small. If there are no traffic. You know, uh, light. So we need some interaction between the uh, autonomous car and the other uh, car flow. Uh, this is kind of like a, our student build uh, the the model of our campus. This is a geometric model of campus. So we can kind of like a testing our car right on our campus. Yeah. So we can uh, make students more interested. Yeah. So the, the, but the algorithm is not ideal. You know, sometimes it uh, hits the. <laughs> Go outside the road, yeah, but it's an autonomous driving algorithm that we can test on our campus. So you can see this is a car is moving here, right? Yeah, along our campus, yeah, inside our campus. But the uh, students also build the uh, model of our parking garage. Yeah, so we, we try we testing this uh, uh, parking algorithm, autonomous you know, parking, valid parking algorithm. Yeah. So see. Uh, this is a student uh, develop some uh, uh, camera simulation. Uh, they they can you know uh, simulate the camera. Uh, and so this is a measurement of the camera. You see there are many nuanced uh, you know uh, effect can be simulated by our camera. Uh, different from your uh, video game, actually it can generate you know, industry level data. It's not just for visualization. Uh, we can use that data training uh, to train. Uh, our algorithm uh, to test our algorithm. Uh, on the other hand, you know, we we uh, we don't want the autonomous driving vehicle to just stand alone. You know, we, we need to develop this uh, you know uh, network, right? So we want to develop this uh, network between uh, among vehicles and uh, between our vehicles and uh, roadside infrastructures like servers, sensors. Yeah. So we also do this simulation about this uh, uh, network, the vehicle. Yeah, like, for example, we have this uh, eight vehicles. If they can you know, inter uh, communicate with each other, uh, they, each vehicle can have a very larger view about the uh, environment, right? They know large area, and we know 
uh, more accurate information about around you know vehicle and uh, pedestrian. Yeah. So uh, this is kind of like a simulation about you know it's hard to do the experiments. So we, we do the simulation like uh, yeah. So this is kind of like a uh, network the vehicle right. Uh, and, uh, they communicate with each other and uh, help each other. Uh, they say I kind of like a research. Uh, I think I, I may maybe skip some part. Uh, so it's like the, the if the car can communicate with each other, right? So each car just can observe a small area. Otherwise, they communicate with each other. They can you know observe a large area. They can have the you know better perception of the environment. Uh, so this is a kind of like a uh, students' research. Uh, so we have several cars, but each car only can can see some of the you know area. But when when we you know put their data together, uh, so like the now we have uh, five cars, right? Each only can observe its neighborhood. But we put them together, we can generate a large uh, perception uh, of about your uh, environment. Like that, because it's a long video, I just show you this part. Uh, and uh, like I said, you know, the one one important approach to build the you know confidence uh, of users upon this uh, autonomous driving. So it's like that we want the data set and simulation to be integrated. Yeah. So in that case, means that we can use the data set we collected physically to help us build this simulator. On the other hand, we want to our simulator to generate the data to enhance our physical data set. Yeah, so that's the integration, that's the important research we are doing. So this is the case, is like how we generate a new simulation. Like uh, for example, if we only have this part of the data set, right? So we build a 3D uh, model and then we can generate a different uh, perspective uh, measurement yeah. and but of course there are some losing part we use again to you know uh, generate the background yeah like the sky and uh, some missing part yeah so this is kind of like a, a research uh, a student uh, is doing in this area it's, uh, yeah. from this uh, de physical data and uh, generate a new data yeah. so because the ones we, when we collected this data we we our cars lot is fixed right you drive your car this way you cannot get data from the other you know uh, other uh, route yeah so we use it again yeah so first we build this 3d model and later we use it again uh, uh, to generate uh, uh, generate the new you know new new data so you can test your car with different uh, driving route yeah you can change a different driving route and still you have new of the Observation data they can test your algorithm. Yeah. Like if your car, you know, drive another different way, yeah, we can we can give you a new perspective. Of course, there are some missing part. Then we use the AI algorithm to fill in, yeah, fill in this part to see that we can fill in this missing part. Yeah, make it more realistic. Yeah. So it's a generated data. It's not the real data we collected. Yeah. And uh, also, the finally, the way we don't just you know use the data set and the simulation. Yeah. Our student also use our own car uh, and work with a company with the bus. We have our own car, the robot, you know, test our algorithm. Yeah. So it's also kind of like a transfer from simulation to real, right? Simulation to real. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think I can show you some of students' work about this robot. Uh, like uh, we assume there is a crowded uh, you know vehicle uh, scenario and how our car can you know drive through this crowded thing right uh, so this is a simulation part uh, and uh, we use the reinforced learning algorithm yeah, so the, the, the algorithm learn a lot of situations then we test with the real robot uh, there is a group of robots right but this uh, uh, our robot can use our AI algorithm, you know, drive through without any collision uh, from this crowded uh, robot group. And also we have this uh, uh, research on the group robot. You see this uh, group robot can, you know, uh, you just uh, tell them the, what the uh, team form, like SASTAC, give them this alphabet. Yeah, the, or this group robot can form the SASTAC 
um, like performance. But uh, you don't need to tell each robot what to do. You just give them a task. Uh, they can they kind of like uh, can achieve this self organization. Yeah. Uh, and uh, our students also uh, have this uh, uh, autonomous uh, driving uh, competition on campus. Yeah, for undergraduate student. So it's like you use a small robot, but it's kind of like an autonomous driving car. So you can start when the traffic light goes green and also can detect the lane. Yeah, so the, uh, and if they detect, they, they can detect this uh, um, mileage, my, uh, this uh, traffic sign, they can you know, reduce their speed, right? And, uh, and this, this can be done by undergraduate students. Yeah. So they have this competition. And once the, the, this uh, traffic sign allow them to increase the speed, uh, they can you know, auto autonomy, automatically increase their speed. Uh, and uh, once they detect this uh, crossing sign, right? So it will stop. Uh, so this is uh, kind of like an interesting competition among the undergraduate students. And uh, you know, our campus have very nice, uh, you know, uh, trees on the mountains. Uh, our students also, you know, use the robot or, you know, running on the campus, right? So this is kind of like autonomous driving, you know, uh, robot, yeah, but under this grass and uh, this uh, uh, campus. Yeah. So this is kind of like our uh, testing algorithm. We also use the, the, our real car, right, for this uh, autonomous uh, parking right now, because our university doesn't allow our car driving on the road, so in the, in the parking lot, uh, we can uh, try some you know, autonomous driving algorithm. Yeah. Uh, this is a kind of like a bus. We worked with a company that's uh, so autonomous driving, but you see there's even no wheel, right? So no driver, no wheel. So uh, we can you know, uh, uh, do the work. Uh, we can show this autonomous driving. Okay, I think my time is almost up. Uh, so I just want to talk about the future about autonomous driving. So what will be the future about autonomous driving, right? Uh, we don't need any driver, we don't need any wheel, you know, we can do anything in our car. Yeah. So uh, what will happen to our life? Uh, first of all, I, to my, uh, my personal perspective is an, uh, the mo mobility is, you know, is more, more about mobility, uh, less about the transportation. Uh, so it's uh, like our uh, mobile phone, you know, no, no, no many, uh, not many of us care about this uh, telephone functionality. Uh, the more interesting is uh, other functionalities. Yeah, for the autonomous driving is the same. It's more about the personal mobile space. It's a smart interactive space that yeah, you can do a lot of things, in your this space, and this space is very immersive and addictive. Now, once you get in, it's difficult to get out. And like the a mobile phone, you know, the, the, the whole family, they communicate not by, our, by their language. The mobile phone, they communicate with each other. Uh, maybe later, we, we do everything in this autonomous driving vehicle. Uh, especially in Shenzhen, uh, maybe in the capital of your country, the, the house is so expensive, right? So, but we can use the much less money to buy this mobile personal space. We can live there, we can move everywhere we want. We can work there, we can entertain us uh, within this space. Yeah, I think this is uh, my vision about the future. Uh, I hope this uh, future will come very soon and we have more pleasure in our life. Uh, this is kind of like a, we put everything open source uh, in uh, GitHub. If some of you even uh, don't go to our university, you can you know uh, record this page and uh, you know can download the play around with our simulator with our tours. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, uh, so that's all. Host. Yeah, Mister. So sad, so sad Yeah, that's all for me today. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Professor. Uh, you may stop the screen sharing, please. What an impressive and informative presentation, Professor. Now we know like uh, more understand about the autonomous driving uh, and also what incredible work and research you had done with your students. Uh, we hope all here that your dreams uh, may come true as soon as possible. 
very impressive. Thank you, Professor. Okay, thank you. Okay, now uh, uh, we are waiting for the presentation uh, of Sustec the, about the university. Please welcome uh, Ms. Long and Mr. Isaac. The time is yours, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Suzato. Um, yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm Long Jin from Sustec Global. It's nice to have you with us today. Um, presentation covers five seconds. It might take you around 14 minutes. If you have any questions, please put them down into the chat bar. My colleague, Mr. Yu Zhi and I will respond to them at the end of admission session. And that's is, uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. Sustech is a high quality and public research university and is also a double first class University of China. And Sustech was founded in December 2010, nearly 11 years ago by Shenzhen Municipal Government. In April 2012, we uh, Zastek is officially approved by Ministry of Education. And um, six years later, in 2018, when Zastek was just eight years old, it was ranked by Times, by Times Higher Education as ace among all mainland Chinese universities. Um, as remarkable, it's remarkable, right? Uh, there's barely any university that could resemble the success of SASTEC. This, this year, just last month, SASTEC was, was just nominated as a member of Double World, Cla World Class Project. It's a project initiated by Chinese government to build first class university of the world. Out of all the double world class project university, SASTEC is one of the youngest and is also the only one in Shenzhen. And why Shenzhen uh, and why SASTEC grows rapidly? Uh, we think the key reason is that SASTEC is fully sponsored by Shenzhen municipal government. And we are also very lucky and, and we have three understanding presidents. They were the president or vice president of a top university in China before they came to SASTEC. They are Professor Zhu Qinshi, our founding president from China University of Science and Technology. Um, Professor, uh, Professor Chen Shiyi from Peking University and Professor Xue Qi Kun from Tsinghua University. And uh, with great, uh, with great, just from great university, and all of them are top scientists. Uh, they are academicians of Chinese Academy of Science. Um, yeah. uh, let's look at some figures and facts of SASTEC. We have 4,543 undergraduate students with 1,310 faculty members. The student, uh, the student fa faculty ratio is uh, 3.6 to 1 as a number one in China. So what's the meaning? Um, it means, um, uh, yeah, that is means uh, you have a lot more ac academic resources than any other universities in China, and you have more access to the entertaining facilities and enjoy much more attention from faculty members than other universities in China. And um, now we have 37 uh, majors uh, in different schools. Uh, we have science and schools, engineering, medicine, economics, and management. Um, so let's talk about what you can expect from study and SASTEC. And here, uh, yeah, uh, SASTEC offers flexible choice uh, of major for every graduate. Um, the undergraduate cultivation mode is general education and major education. There are two ways 
The first one is one plus three. What's the name? As a, uh, the first the first year for generation education. The uh, la, the other three years for academic education. The second way is two plus two. That means uh, the first two years for general general education and the other two years for academic education. We believe universities are for students to keep discovering themselves until they find what they truly love. With that in mind, we give you up to two years in your undergraduate student to think and to try for your academic path. Don't know what to study? Uh, don't worry. Um, why don't you try some courses of different majors first? You have one or two years to try to talk with your counterparts and your mentors. We believe somehow you will you will turn your eyes to your beloved major after one or two years. Sunset provides enough time and opportunities for every freshman to explore and attempt. As the only Sustech is the only university in Chinese mainland to offer you such to offer you such a rare opportunity. And uh, now, uh, as um, the one of features education, uh, yeah, that's um, something rather important to your choice of university. And uh, we are the single university. With with residential colleges and mentors. The presidential college dates back to 11th century, when it was the prevailing way of providing interactions between students from different backgrounds. It's rather real these days. Uh, yeah, yet we got it back in Sustec, and we are the only university in Chinese mainland to make it happen. We believe students from different classes with different majors can communicate and blend and blend in joint class major interactions and grow with peers. Yeah. Uh, for now, altogether, we have uh, six colleges. Uh, yeah, they are Zhiren, Shuren, Zhicheng, Shude, Zhixin, Shuli. Yeah. And um, um, we believe uh, that students lead professional guidance in their life and study. So SASTEC announced our every undergraduate to have two advisors and all the, and um, both of the two advisors are for professors at SASTEC. Um, uh, that, that means every, but every undergraduate uh, have a residential uh, college advisor and one academic advisor. Each student will be assigned a full-time professor as residential life advisor to provide guidance on college life and study. After selecting a major, students will choose an academic advisor to guide them with program study and research. All professors serve as residential life advisors and academic advisors. They communicate with students in out of and out of class, guide and influence students with professional uh, knowledge and personal charisma. Yeah. Now let's look at uh, the, some, the, the master at SASTAC. Um, yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, uh, you can see we start with 66 faculty members in 2012 and uh, hit 103,310 uh, 1, once in 2021. The number of faculty members for faculty uh, recruitment has been rocketing within 10 years. And um, yeah, now let's look at uh, top level faculty members. Um, the faculty members are 100% 100% PhD holders and 90% coming with overseas working experience and 16% of under 
under 40 years old and coming from the University of the World. In addition, uh, we have 55 academic teams with 36 full-time professors, almost one third of all academicians in Guangzhou province. And um, yeah, here uh, the academicians has to become part of accepted academicians. Um, that means uh, from 2020 to 20 first for this in the last two years, um, uh, the new uh, new part participate uh, new uh, joining SASTEC. And here, um, in SASTEC is the uh, uh, in SASTEC, all professors must give lectures to undergraduates, including academicians. Yeah, we can see again the two pictures are the academicians give lectures to undergraduate. That's the uh, academician Chen Xiaofei. That's the Yu Dapeng. Um, okay. Here, you might want a bit about another ranking. Uh, yeah, let's look at Nature Index. Nature Index is a database that includes 82 world class journals, ranks the number of research articles published in the most international journals by universities and research institutes. And we can see uh, from the 2040 to uh, 2021st, we can see the uh, the, uh, the 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 perform the the uh, um, the, the ranking performance uh, rocketing from the 2014 to 2021st. And for now, we have six disciplines are ranked the top one percent globally by ESI. And um, for the recent three, for the last three years, SASTEC faculty members published 26 high quality research papers in nature and science. And uh, research achievement of SASTEC were listed in China's top 10 advances in life science for two consecutive years. And SASTEC has 69 scientific research platforms and to uh, facilitate our student skill in research, every undergraduate student, every undergraduate is, uh, is encouraged to work in laboratory as soon as possible, participate in and undertake scientific research project, cultivate science and research literacy. Uh, improve the ability to independent learning and research. If you are uncertain about your professional direction, you might as well give it a try. Getting exposed to real academic frontier and planning out future development during practice will help you find your scientific area. And to SASTEC, all world-class scientific research platforms are open to all our undergraduates. And here uh, you can see, uh, um, uh, many undergraduates um, doing research at the labs, uh, in the labs at uh, SASTEC. And um, uh, many uh, undergraduates published research, re research papers uh, on the international journals as uh, some of the, some of the list. And many undergraduates have shown intelligence and in research during college, um, which, uh, which means uh, which is a uh, which is an effective result of the education model of SASTEC for cultivating innovate innovative talent. Um, that, uh, about you um, yeah. um, first up here in Shenzhen, all international students with a degree of bachelor are qualified for working visa. Some of other cities' working permit requires a higher degree. For SASTIC, for SASTIC undergraduates, 40% uh, of them pursue further studies outside mainland China, and 30% uh, pursue further studies in China, and 30% uh, employed or became an, an 
uh, entrepreneur. Uh, here, um, yeah. In the past six years, 40% of students went abroad for further studies, and nearly 50 of them in 2021 were admitted to QS World's top 50 universities. And uh, in 2021, about 35% of the graduates uh, 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 of the undergraduates chose to further uh, uh, for, uh, to pursue further study in China. And you might like to know that domestic students at SASTEC are among the top 1% with the, with the best Gaokao performance in China. It means that you are studying with the best of the, uh, with the best Chinese students. I'm sure you will have not inspiration from them and vice versa. 30% of graduates choose to work. Nearly 80% of them work in Guangzhou, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. In 2021, the TH Global Employability University ranking, SASTEC was ranked the first in Guangdong province, 10th in mainland China, and 158th globally. Um, let's talk about SASTEC in internationality. Internationalization is one of the founding spirit of SASTEC. And um, uh, we can see the international features um, uh, and SASTEC from many aspects. We have international network. Uh, yeah, we have the way we, uh, we um, uh, SASTEC highly interacts with global academic world. And we have international faculty and staff. Uh, SASTEC recruits faculty members from across the globe. And um, we uh, carry out international education system. Uh, we have the bilingual uh, in, uh, instruction and learning and a high rate participation in programs outside mainland China. And uh, we also have international research. And uh, we, host, we host high level international academic um, conference, conferences every year. Uh, and uh, we have well, we have uh, world class research facilities and equipment. And um, SASTEC has an international uh, campus. We have international living conditions and visit uh, international visiting scholars and uh, students. And uh, last, we have international reputation. We have made good performance at working and world ranking. And SASTEC always had its national universities, so 40% of global partners are top 100 universities. And the national and SASTEC international features at NAS. 40% of senior faculty are non Chinese passport holders, and 95% of faculty members studied or worked outside mainland China. And 43% of papers are international collaborative efforts. And six professors are listed among the world's top 2% of scientists by Stanford University. And uh, such a um, and also ranked the eighth top talents among Chinese uh, universities uh, by, uh, by Shanghai ranking in 2020. And um, SASTEC has 158 global partner universities and 10 major projects uh, with MIT, KCL, UQ, ATH, and uh, Tokyo, and so on. And um, 60 percent, um, more than 60 percent of undergraduate students studied outside mainland. Uh, and we have 12 degree programs with, uh, um, with, with um, many uh, the world class universities such as KCL, HUC, 
EQ and AUS and so on. And we have 16 um, PhD programs with world-class universities outside mainland China. Uh, and 45% of students were admitted by world top 50, per, uh, 50 universities after obtained bach uh, bachelor, bachelor degrees. Um, yeah, let's look at some ranking performance. Um, yeah, um, uh, 40 actually the world university rankings, SASTEC ranked 162nd worldwide and uh, 33rd in Asia and 9th in mainland China. And, um, and some, uh, in terms of higher education advanced university ranking 2022, um, SASTEC ranked 30th worldwide and the first in mainland China. Uh, yeah, uh, the first in mainland China for consecutive, uh, for four consecutive years. And that's uh, the ranking performance of some um, SASTEC disciplines. SASTEC uh, has some major international research and education platform. Uh, here you can see we uh, cooperate with King's College in uh, London to cooperate in the field of medicines and MIT Centers for Mechanical Engineering Research and Education and MIT and SASTEC and joint SASTEC EQ Center for uh, uh, neuroscience and neuroengineering. Uh, and um, uh, SASTEC, you talk, you joint research center for super smart cities. Uh, and uh, the Rex uh, uh, X Institute, uh, SASTEC actually is the parents joint institute for global management and entrepreneurship. And um, uh, joint institute, the computer, uh, computer, Computational intelligence and SASTEC UTS Joint Research Center for Biochemical Materials and Devices. And uh, SASTEC ACL School of Medicine uh, was approved uh, was approved officially by Ministry of Education of China uh, in November last year. And SASTEC has an international advisory council. Um, we have uh, together 20 council members and all the council members uh, are the present uh, presidents or former leaders from the world top universities. They could give, uh, uh, they would offer um, fantastic uh, ideas and suggestions for sustainable development. And the um, international, international internationalization is one of the founding spirit of SASTEC to be sure our students be globally competitive. We not only offer them bilingual instruction and language services, but also offer undergraduates more than 100 outside mainland China programs. There are four types uh, of programs hosted in four continents. And um, that's a degree, uh, some uh, degree programs in different country. Uh, 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 these are some semester program as a visiting program uh, in different country. Uh, and uh, as a world class university and uh, as a semester program uh, for exchange, the two Asian lived um, that's, uh, in, in different country. And that's some uh, of short term programs. Uh, and um, uh, we also sponsor the students for study outside mainland China programs all of undergraduates with uh, are eligible for it both the domestic students and uh, our international students and um, uh, there are some in program for studying outside mainland china uh, the advantage of key in programs uh, uh, are 
uh, have, have uh, such as uh, customized nature uh nature co um, courses and research guidance yeah improve research ability with international insights and provide opportunity opportunities to study at world-class universities and uh, positive influence influences for study outside mainland china after graduation and um the key programs uh with mit ucla and michigan school of public health and KCL uh, and um, uh, HEC and um, KAUST and so on. And um, for now, we have uh, 104 programs. Um, and um, we can see the mark um, in 2019. 2019 marks the largest number of participation while the last the last two years data was seriously dragged by academic um such a goal is to make sure every student every student gets to study outside mainland china at least once during for the four years of college um, making it an important part of undergraduate education at such tech uh, let's look at some uh, the examples like uh, Sastec. Mm. The students' housing. Mm. The international students live the same area with domestic students, and the students for for undergraduates with air conditional shared activities room and elevators, and we offer plenty of shared uh, space so that the students feel closely connected with community. And uh, mm, that's uh, here you can see the campus study. Uh, you have access to a vast number of food on campus. We have five counties uh, with few some other restaurants such as Starbucks, Subway, KCL. In addition, if you uh, if you want to look for other options, you may want to visit a shopping mall just right across our gate one. Uh, but, <clears throat> but are an important part of our and uh, our students' life. Uh, that's uh, some picture of the account or films. Uh, we have include indoor and outdoor statues. A swimming pool, tennis tennis court, a basket, a baseball field, um, basketball court, um, valuable court, badminton court, a table tennis court, and a fight club, and so on. And the uh, fact field together more than one hundred student association. Um, there are so so many associations uh, for students to choose. So we believe you could find uh, what you're uh, interested. In. And that is some um, picture about uh, campus uh, campus environment. Uh, the the first one is the um, uh, the sports center, the campus walkway. That is a sports center. One of the sports center. Uh, here the campus. A campus bus that's free for everyone, uh, for every faculty member, staff, and uh, uh, our students. Uh, that's a residential house, and uh, that's a conference center. Um, and such a uh, campus, uh, such a campus um, uh, have eighty percent great coverage with a world class campus view, and uh, sitting in a forest with a river raging through. And let's look at the transportation. Sastek is located in the Nanshan district of of Shenzhen with convenient transportation. Uh, it's a very it's a very a uh, place a uh, place guaranteeing a quality study and research as well. Uh, and um, yeah, here is the Sastek. If you want to go to Hong Kong, it just takes 30 minutes by train. And if you want to go to uh, Bao'an, 
airport, you can take the subway. It's just 14 subway stations. It um, takes about 40 minutes by subway. And the subject is a miracle in higher education of China with the support of Shenzhen municipal government. So let's uh, look at uh, uh, a brief introduction of Shenzhen city. And uh, this university actually uh, integrated, uh, more and more integrated, um, Stanford to the Silicon Valley, MIT to Boston, Imperial College to London from mid 1850s, University and the city are showing signs of inter independent coexistence and mutual promotion. Cities foster the university and the universities lead the city. The university supports in the field of talents, technology, culture, and uh, city give the university give the support, uh, give the uh, the university the support of finance. Uh, space, resources, and so on. And um, uh, in the Noble Urban Competitive Report 2020 to 2021, Shenzhen is the only city ranked in the top 10 worldwide. Shenzhen uh, ranked the ninth globally and the first in China. Shenzhen is a fast becoming center of high technology economy in Asia and uh, yeah um okay um well um let's save the best for the last uh, the remaining section is about how you can get into SASTEC with full scholarship SASTEC, uh, has started the international student admission in 2016 the principle for international students' admission is recreating highly selective international students. So we received so um, oh, we received a few hundred, three hundred applications every year. That the application and process picks only the best ones. Uh, that's one of our graduates. Yeah, that's from Malaysia, and um, yeah. It offer full scholarship um, to all our undergraduate uh, offer holder. It covers tuition, visa, is uh, is still uh, in, in, insuring insurance, living um, yeah, living expense um, of uh, two uh, two two thousand five hundred yuan a month and housing and health check. Students are subject to assessment every semester for continuity for their monthly um, a spy pant. For now, with all the students, the rate of the spy uh, stipend receivers is 100%. So some of the receivers by, uh, by pant is halved due to the questionable performance of study. If it goes well, you may enjoy the scholarship for um, four years. And the scholarship is managed under interim regulations for management of such international student scholarships. And uh, uh, there are 33 programs taught in English and are open for our international students. You may visit our admission, um, admission page for program details. For Chinese taught program, we cannot uh, guarantee that you may choose it as you as your major. Yet you may yet you may file an application to teaching affairs office of SASTEC if your Chinese is up to the standard. And this is uh, the some table of twenty twenty two admission process uh, the pro admissions. I would suggest to submit your application as soon as you can. Yeah, you know, um, the sooner the better. Um, there are three requirements uh, 
to call to be qualified to our candidate, the applicants should be the foreign should be foreign citizens who are in good health conditions, have good characters, and have received high school diploma, or to be uh, awarded with a high school diploma before June of their uh, enrollment year. The census met the requirement of still pupils in the the number two the number two document issued by the Ministry of Education of China and uh, the applicant the applicant under under 18 by 20th of August of the enrollment year should confirm a gar a guardian based in China. Applicants should prepare an um, authorization letters that has been certified by the local Chinese embassy and mail it to us before we could provide visa documents. Um, yeah, these are the documents. Uh, the information might be a little overwhelming, uh, yet you may visit our admission page. There's very specific information of our documents. In general, you need um, passports personal statement, high school diploma, and uh, um, certificate of study. And jury commendation network, uh, and um, uh, tra uh, tra tra and test, and uh, proposed test, and other document. Uh, with all the documents above, you may visit our portal for sub Submission. Once your application is submitted, we will look into your document and decide your progresses to the online test. Um, the online test um, uh, include, includes uh, two subjects. One is mathematics. The second one, the second, the second is physics. Uh, um, uh, it's all together. Um, takes four hours and two hours for every subject. Students will be invited over uh, email with detailed guide. For reference, students are advi advised to download syllabus and sample test from our admission page. And if pass is achieved by the uh, exam, students will be invited for an interview as online or offline. And um, if online interview, um, it, in, it, it includes self-introduction by PPT presentation and um, uh, Q and A, and um, it takes 15 minutes altogether. And uh, while that's uh, all for the introduction of Sustech, uh, you are more than welcome to apply with us and if you have any question, please reach us. Our contact is here uh, and uh, with QQ group code. You may also visit our social media here on the down right corner. And um, um, uh, Mr. Rich, Rich Isaac is also online now. Uh, if you have any question, please let us know. No, okay. That's for um, uh, the introduction. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Long, for the very detailed, informative uh, information about this. Uh, now we come from the should be on the last part for the uh, Q and A. Uh, Miss Long, can you stop uh, share screen, please? Okay. Okay, before we begin on the third uh, sessions uh, about for Q&A, question and answer, uh, I want to share some new information uh, from Gridwall uh, that we had a new platform of social media, uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and everything. I will share the information down below after this, uh, if you don't mind, for your supports. Uh. Okay, now comes on the... Uh, Q&A session, please. Actually, I got one question directly uh, to me, uh, Mr. Isaac. A student asking, what is the strongest major of SASTEC? Well, um, 
<clears throat> so um, fr from Mrs. Nelson's introduction earlier, um, we have several, several, um, several schools or several, uh, several majors that have, that have entered the world top, um, top rankings, I think, um, like computer science or mathematics that we just, uh, that, that just allowed university to enter the double, the double top class initiative. Um, also, uh, well, I can't give you the exact, uh, exact name of the majors, uh, which one that I recommend, but most of them are rather, are rather strongly, strongly, strongly developed. So it's up to the student to decide. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> On the other things from the uh, Miss Long presentation, I can uh, recognize that SASTEC is a very great and fast achievement yeah? in a sh uh, short period of time. You have great faculty members. And also the most important thing is a uh, high uh, ratio between students and staffs. So this is make it very easy for students if you find professors and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so happy to hear that 30% of the graduate students uh, become uh, entrepreneurs, which mm -hmm. is very uh, an interesting uh, uh, number of facts. Uh, okay, another questions. Approximately how many total international students uh, at your school? Yeah, for now, we have uh, 40, 48 undergraduate students. Um, it's around 1.8% 1, 1. of all of all of, of all students here at the campus, um, but we're expecting, but we ex we're, we're expecting to reach a percent of five, reach five percent in 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 their three in their three years. Um, so don't um, we do not have a very strong limit to the numbers of students we recruit every year, as if the students are quality enough, if you're strong in science, then you, you're more we're more than happy that you could apply with us. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> A uh, student directly asked to me, thank you, Matthew. Uh, could you please share the cost of the tuition fees? Um, for the tuition, okay, one second. Um, cost of tuition, yeah, there we go. One second. Yeah, that's it. Of tuition, visa, and insurance, health check, monthly stipend, and housing. Um, our, our presidential scholarship covers almost everything that you can possibly spend here at campus um of course it depends on individuals um it, it may vary the number of the spendings may vary a lot but we provide you very basic um also quite generous scholarship so matthew uh that's the figures of the uh, fees but actually sustec is just one uh, very strong highly academic uh students so once you uh, accept it then you have to the, don't have to pay any fee at all, including your living expenses uh, for four years. So, yeah. Right. Um, we want the quality student, uh, the very best ones. Um, so don't you worry about the finance. Apart from the presidential scholarship, you are also eligible for applying for the residential college level scholarship. Um, um, let's say 30%. I think thirty percent. I think that's the that's the data of twenty nineteen. About thirty percent of international students were uh, were awarded with uh, several <clears throat> were, were awarded with a residential college level uh, scholarships. So don't you worry about money. As long as you're quality enough, we're more than happy to offer you such a generous generous package. Okay, so once accepted. Uh... I'm sure that students also uh, many, uh, need to manage their GPA, right, during the... Yeah, right, right. right. Every semester, there's an assessment. Uh, but uh, the standard is it's not that, it's not that demanding. It you don't have to worry too much about your, uh, uh, about your continuity of your stipend. Um, as long as you have the attendance rate um, up to the standard, uh, up to the required, um, and you keep your minimum GPA at um, a very specific, a specific level that I forgot, um, and you make sure you have enough credit every semester. I think it's around fifteen um, credits every semester. Okay. That's the that's the that, that, that's the bottom line of keep of keeping your money. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you don't have to be worried? Just uh, study hard, you know. Uh, no, right. Attend right, the class, right. finish all the projects and assessments, and also maintain yeah. your attendance rate. So yes. you can you'll, enjoy you'll the. Yeah. yeah, you can enjoy the whole four years of, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, scholarships. Yeah, the academic standard is the same for you and your counterparts here in China. All right, another question. Uh, and it's always in every single our info session, Isaac. Uh, when is China open the border? <laughs> uh, right. Um, we're expecting, you know, we, uh, I can't guarantee you that border will open anytime soon. Um, but I think the government is working on that. We're, we're still waiting for the further notice from the authorities. Um, if it allows, then we will um, we'll no, we'll, we'll notice with students as, as possible. Yeah, right. We're, which is, you know, we expect border to open as much as you do. Um, yet we 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 can't decide, and um, you know, it's a government government policy. Um, not much that we can help. But yeah. we'll, we will let you come back as soon as the border clears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, so many students already miss China and everything, and they want to. Go. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> okay. we're, we're, we're facing the same pressure as others. Yes. Okay. Any questions, maybe, students, parents? Don't be hesitate, please. You may raise your hand if you want to speak directly for the questions or... Uh, uh, Hello, Mr. Isaac. Yeah. Type it on the chat box. Sorry, uh, I got one question in my chat box. Mm -hmm. uh, the student is asking uh, for, if to want to join this September and 2022 intake. When is the latest for the application? Um, that will be the beginning of uh, beginning of May. So oh, beginning um, of yeah, May. There, there's still time. There's still time for application. Normally, okay. we 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 end it. We we end our enrollment. Uh, end our application portal um, <clears throat> by early May. So you, st you still have say a month and a half almost. Okay, for uh, join the May one is when will be the tests being held. Right for, for that one, uh, normally uh, the exams to be hosted in the middle of the May. Okay. Um, yeah. Right, and then you will be able to have the interview by the end of the by the end of the May and your offer by the early June. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does international students will attend and mix class with the local uh, students? Yes. Yes. Um. You 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 will <clears throat> you will stay in the same housing with. The domestic ones, and your academic requirement is the same. Um, you um, so and all the facilities and the all the facilities and everything, um, are accessible to both international and domestic students. Uh, no difference at all. Great. Yeah. And also, I just get the information from the presentation of uh, Miss Long that, uh. Sustec also have the residential college advisor, which is it is very good. Yeah, right, and that's a great feature that you can enjoy nowhere, nowhere here in China, because the residential college system, it's uh, it comes with it comes quite costly. Um, if you if you heard about Harvard University, uh, no, not Harvard, yes, Harvard, Cambridge, and Oxford, who started the residential college system, um, is that because they were elitist, because they were well provided uh, financial financially. And the same story happens here. We have a residential college to provide you with great, great academic resources. And you can enjoy a lot, a lot, a lot more cons consultations from both mentors, your daily, your everyday life mentors, your academic mentors. And they're all overseas returnees who work, who used to work in the top 100%, a top 100 universities in the world. So imagine that if you go to another university here in China, probably out of four years, you won't have much chance to talk to professors, talk to your mentors. Don't even go to mentor there. But here it says that you have two mentors and you have residential colleges where you share your experiences, you share your backgrounds, your understandings toward the world with other counterparts here in China. Perhaps you stay in the room with someone who study mathematics and someone who study computer science and someone who come from medical school. That means they're getting inspirations from each other. You would enjoy nothing. You would enjoy not none of the. You would enjoy no, from nowhere here in mainland China, apart from Sustec. Grab the chunks, and yeah. this is the single chance that you know we 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 focus on so-called general education, 
So, so for undergraduate level, you have to understand, you have to keep looking for what you truly love. You have to search, you have to look for or pave through all the possibilities that may possibly where you can find yourself. And we offer you that possibility. You start from the first year, second year, and uh, your selection courses is not limited. And your, 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 um, and your major are not, are not, major are not settled until you are surely aware of what you truly love. And you can talk to your mentors, your daily mentors and academic mentors for suggestions, for, for advices for your career. And you can, again, there is no other place that resembles this tech in this, in, in this, in, in mainland China. Yeah, so it's very great. Yeah, between uh, it's called like the balance of everything. You have the, uh, you need to balance in your social life, and you need to do very well also in the ed- academic. So, students, international students, especially, uh, you can, you can uh, grow. You can uh, both mentally, uh, physically, and also academically yes. in yes. in a in a uh, what do you call it parallel way. So it is yes. very, very good. Yeah. Yes. You you also have you know for some for for some for some science universities, um, access to the liberal arts are limited. But here at Sustac, you have access to all liberal arts. We have a liberal arts college. Okay. Um, we do not have degree programs from that from 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 liberal arts college, but they offer all courses. You can you uh, offer a vast range of courses courses that you can select from. Um, and so when it comes to liberal arts, I'm sure as a science student, you also need a bit of a, you need a bit of a preparation. You need a bit of understanding in order to further your career, to help you, to help you turn yourself into a more, a more well-educated, a more well-developed, a more, um, a, a, a more, uh, say, a, 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 a young, a, a youngster with more possibilities in the future. And you know that's what college, that's what university is about. It's about offer you a possibility that you can discover yourself, not to limit you, because we're small, we're really small, and we only have a thousand elitist students from uh, elitist student every year, and they're the top one percent from this country, and that's your classmates, and that's the people right. you, you you can learn from, <clears throat> interact with. Yeah, and, we, and the student and faculty ratio is three point six against one. That means one, uh, three point six student against the one professor, and that makes it possible that you have two mentors. And that's something that we really should treasure and really should take into consideration when it comes to choosing a university. You enjoy um, way more privileges and resources yeah. than other counterparts here in China. In yeah, other universities, I, I believe the Sussex the number ratio that's the highest. I um, mean, great. In, you know. Asia. in yeah, Asia, in Asia, yeah. we're number one in Asia. You can wow. enjoy such a privilege in nowhere. Well, in some of the universities in the US, in the liberal arts, the top three liberal arts colleges in the US, perhaps, yes, or, or Harvard, or Yale, or Princeton. Nice, right. nice, yeah, but not not anywhere here in China. So consider yourself okay. to consider yourself lucky to study here. Okay, uh, Isaac, we got a question from Jonathan Ellison. Thank you. Uh, hello, sir. My name is Jonathan. Okay, I would like to ask regarding the scholarship. What happened if I couldn't res- uh, achieve the target score for the next semester? Do I have to pay back the fees I used before? No, no. The answer is no. You don't have to pay anything back. But we may have say have your stipend. From two thousand and fifty, from two thousand and five hundred to a thousand two hundred fifty fifty, that's highly possible if you can't meet requirement, the basic requirement. So I'll give you a data about a percentage of the students who are awarded with scholarship from the year two. It's about ninety percent, ninety five percent. So don't you worry about losing it as long as you are a hardworking student, as long as you catch catch up with the paces of the study. So it's fine. So yeah. Don't so, worry. so don't worry, Jonathan Ellison. Don't worry at all. Yeah. yeah, just do it with the flow. Uh, follow the uh, schedule, the deadline of the, your mm-hmm. assessment, and everything. Uh, mm-hmm. Do well in your academic. Mm-hmm. Always well, uh, honestly, attend, uh, attend yeah, the honestly, classes. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy to study at Sustech. It's yeah. not easy, especially if you do not have backgrounds in terms of science. Um, it's difficult. It's tough. But if you're working hard, we provide you with uh, as much as resources you can imagine. And also, uh, in terms of your study, 
there, there is there, um, we have a system called peer peer tutoring system. Um, some of the students with the great performance in their study uh, are selected, are invited to help international students uh, with the transition into a new life here in terms of their study. So it's fine. Yeah, as long as great. you ask, uh, we are there to answer because we're small and we're elite. We care our students' performance and their experience here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does international student get the chance to study Mandarin because uh, it's all sure. <laughs> It's not get a chance. It's mandatory. Um, so okay. um, there, is a, there, is this, uh, there is a requirement for international students to graduate um, in, terms of their, um, uh, in terms of their language level. Uh, you would have to pass HSK3 by the end of a four-year study in order to secure a, dip- uh, secure a degree. Um, uh, you need Chinese. <laughs> and okay. if you speak Chinese properly, um, I'm sure that will assist you a lot in terms of your life here. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's the, China. For yeah, Asian so countries, right, for Asian so. countries, it's relatively difficult um, uh, for, a, for, a, for a pure inter- English, English speaker uh, to study, uh, to, 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 lead, to, to survive quite well in, 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 in outside, outside university, you know, apart from Singapore or some of the yeah, Indonesian cities, sure. But, but the mainland in China, um, um, uh, uh, learning Chinese is necessary and mandatory by, by, uh, by, uh, by, 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 by our training, by, by, by our ed- education system. Yeah. yeah, so students and parents don't be worried because uh, a lot of uh, p- people think that if I go to China, uh, taking degrees in English thought program, then how about my Mandarin? Don't worry because China, according to ISEX, also it's uh, stated clearly, clearly by Ministry of Education that all international students must need to uh, pass their HSK after they are graduate from the uh, bachelor program. Before you graduate, I mean. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So you need to uh, keep up and study Mandarin. And also the school uh, should uh, prepare for their uh, lessons, right? Yeah, right. You know, we have a language center, as introduced by my, by my supervisor, Mrs. Loan. Um, about language center, um, it's a professional language service center. It offers you courses, including Spanish, Japanese, German, wow. um, um, you name it. Um, of course, Chinese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of students got the uh, curiosity about the four years education of the undergraduate. Uh, do they have any chances to do internship, maybe organized by school or? Well, um, I can't guarantee you that. Um, but here at Shenzhen, uh, applying for a working visa does not require you to be a postgraduate. Um, you only with uh, with a bachelor degree, you're eligible of applying for a working visa as long as there's a company uh, that would like to hire you. Um, plus, within within the campus, um, you're eligible of working for uh, for 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 whatever purpose, but it's uh, it's it's strongly limited within within the campus, not outside. For the internship, mm, mm, I can't assure you for now, but we do have some of the programs where students are introduced to, to take an internship outside the university. But that requires a different visa. Our office will help you with it. Oh, great. If you are, oh. Yes. If you are offered an internship from a company outside, uh, outside university, our office will, will, will provide you assistance in terms of, in terms of securing a, a working visa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very nice. Because yeah, we are small. Again, <laughs> our number is limited. Um, um, we have a lot of... The, the administration say the administration here says that we are serving our our internet we're, we're serving our community we're, uh, we, we are we are assisting all the professors uh, the faculty the student uh, to live a proper life and to fulfill their academic academic career um so don't you worry about don't you worry about um the situation that we encounter other, other places here in china here okay. in china we are all serving people so the students and parents don't worry. I suspect everything with all the administration staffs will fairly happy to help yeah. uh, all the students' needs. Yeah. 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 We're serving. A lot of people talking about uh, for international students, especially we are talking about Shenzhen we, because we know Shenzhen is a very uh, innovative, uh, innovative city of China and we can call it all the high tech. Uh, companies, all the high-tech uh, yes. staffs are all now in Shenzhen. Uh, it's the tech hub. 
Yeah. So it's what kind of the biggest demand uh, for the major? Well, say the reason why Sustec was there um, was because Shenzhen wants a university with some fundamental research, uh, with, with, with fundamental research innovations and research discoveries. And that's why we were there. And in return, we we in return we contribute to the university to contribute to the city, with great with great um, international reputation, with uh, great innovations and research. Um, say all the courses, all the courses, um, the programs that you can, all the programs, the majors, here at, here at the university, it's it's closely connected, it's closely related to what is needed out there. Um, as as Mrs. Long mentioned earlier, from the eighteen from the from the, from the eighteen fifties. Uh, for the second revolution, the so-called second uh, industrial re- revolution, the universities that were close start, uh, started to be closely related with the industry, and the reason why Sistec grows so fast was partially because we are we are answering the demands from the, from the city, okay. and we are we're doing the research in order to boost the technology that is strongly required by the development of the city. By the sec- by different sectors, say technology, say AI, say aut- 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 autonomous piloting, as as um, as Professor Howard she just generously um, shared with you, it's um it's uh, all the courses are closely related to what is needed in the market. Not to mention Shenzhen is the tech hub. Um, we don't want to resemble ourselves to other universities like Stanford, but sort of uh, but we, we share the same we, we share the same pattern with the city. As Stanford shares the pattern with 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 with, with Silicon Valley, um, we provide them with incentives, uh, great thoughts, and research that city a city needs to boost its industry. So don't you worry about uh, learning for nothing. I'm sure you will learn for something. Um, that's one thing. For another part, as I mentioned earlier, uh, undergraduate level for undergraduate study, that's where you find yourself, where you discover the possibilities from your from your own. And use that for your future. Uh, choose the career path based on discovery of yourself, and we offer that opportunity. Because I, I think Sustec understand that uh, understands that principle quite well, and that's why we're here. We're elitists, and I'm right. sure you will find yourself. Um, you will learn something that is closely related to the market. Well, um, there's another another figure that was not in 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 in, in the slide shared by Mrs. Lai. Um, was uh, was that um, say we have um, fifty five percent of students who go directly to PhD uh, last uh, twenty from twenty twenty one? It's a new data. It's not that was not uh, in the PPT for now. But fifty five percent of the of the end of the graduates um, that means five almost the five hundred and fifty student go went directly to PhD without taking a postgraduate study. Wow. Um, because they are research based. Because they, they go to the lab from the second year, right? We want them to be a part of the lab, be a part of the research, Great. and then through which they find themselves, they find what they're good at, right? And we sponsor we sponsor students to study abroad. We want them to be global visionary. We want them to be globally visionary, um, to be exclusive, to understand both cultures. Oh, sorry, not both, many cultures across the world. We want them to be incl- uh, to be inclusive. Yeah, mm, yeah, to great. be inclusive, and that's why we, um, um, we we sponsor them. We turn ourselves into the international internationalize the campus. Okay. Yeah, and also students and also think if I'm uh, do great uh, with my best GPA once I graduated, can you tell us like share some information about the average salary? If you're fresh, we'll say, um, you know, honestly, honestly, uh, pl- please bear with me. But my, my, my statement for that is not that correct. And I can't guarantee you its accuracy. <laughs> it's based on my understanding and what I know. I say it's, um, well, for a researcher, I suppose it's, it should be more than 12,000 RMB a month, oh, at least okay. for a researcher. Uh, but, but I can't guarantee you that's correct. You can search from, the, from Google. But for a researcher, it's a lot of money. It's relatively. Yeah. It's it's not that bad. It's not bad. Uh, here at Shenzhen, the average income is eight thousand RMB. Okay. Uh, for someone with a degree like you, especially from a from a, from a research background, then sure you can secure a way better payment than that. Exactly. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But just like people think is now the uh, highest salary will be around the technology <laughs> engineering. Yeah, right, 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 right. Because we need because Shenzhen will pays you. Shenzhen pays you um, as much as you want if you do something that the city needs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so the city by, by city needs, I mean the industry needs. Yeah. So yeah. students, parents, you hear uh, directly from the uh, ISAC, and as also we know, Shenzhen is a, a tech corp. Yeah, tech corp city. Yeah, it's a tech corp. Uh, it's a and, tech corp. And also, so, oh, there are seventy thousand seventy thousand tech companies here in the city. Wow. Um, the new uh, um, uh, I think from last year, from last year or oh, oh, twenty twenty, I think twenty twenty, the Shenzhen also launched an initiative called um, the Little Giants. They introduced. Uh, they provide extraordinarily generous poly- uh, 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 package to to the companies uh, who, who, are, who are majoring, say, uh, uh, space space exploration, um, uh, new materials, artificial intelligence, virtual reality. Yeah, so they provide extra- extraordinarily <laughs> extraordinarily generous package to those companies. Yeah. Great. This is a tech corp, and also uh, I saw some statistics uh, on a Google that. Ninety percent of the world electronics is come from Shenzhen. Yeah, Shenzhen is a great, uh, you know, Silicon Valley city, tech corp, and also the most important is if you're talking a student, then you're talking about the education. The education that he offered by Sustec is a STEM university, so it yeah. really matches. You know, you do the uh, study. You do the life here, and also once you graduated, this is the city that which is uh, very eager and yep, needs yep. about the uh, science and technology. So don't yeah, be we need you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yes. city needs you. Yeah, unlike other cities who who, who fear who fears who fear that you may take their jobs, we, we need you. <laughs> right. Yeah, the competition is extraordinarily encouraged in the city. Um, yeah. We want talents. We want talents. We want to be the Silicon Valley. Now we want to overtake the Silicon Valley. So American we need talents Silicon. like you. Yeah. Make so, okay. to the city and you may well get paid well. <laughs> Don't you worry. So both uh, city and universities, they, they both need talents you know, as you hear, yeah. guys. So yeah, do the best in your money. academic year. Do your, your best in your academic year, especially yeah. if you now, maybe some of you here still in the year 10, year 11, please do the best in your science subjects and uh, let us help you to do the application of SASTEC. As you know, once you pass, uh, apply and you pass the two subjects of uh, entrance examination, uh, mathematics and physics, once you pass it and you will get everything uh, for free for four years education. So what you need to do is just buy a uh, one-way ticket, <laughs> airline tickets. You arrive to Shenzhen and you can enjoy four years uh, of your study without uh, thinking, about, thinking anything about uh, financial so Sustec will will pay everything for you, and also once you graduate, you can also have the experience to uh, uh, working at the city, which really eager with your uh, science and technology. Uh, another question from Nicholas. Okay, uh, Mister, is a test in English? <laughs> I ask. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, sure. Percent. It's conducted in English. All the tests, all the tests on campus, are test are, are conducted in English. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you have to make sure that your English is uh, English proficiency level is enough to hold. It's enough to hold those demand those demanding courses. Right. Yeah. Thank you. I do believe the Indonesian student have a very uh, quite generous uh, level of uh, English proficiency. Yeah, uh, and no, for students here, don't course. don't worry uh, because Great Wall uh, we also provide intensive preparation for the entrance examination uh, of SASTEC. So you just uh, come consult. And apply, and we do help to for you to prepare for the entrance examination test uh, by uh, joining our intensive courses. Don't worry, we are trying to get the highest uh, uh, successful rate of uh, students which accepted at your university. Yeah, right. Okay. right. right. If there are any other questions or maybe something to to talk with, please don't worry if you want to. Mr. Ahmad, is there any question coming up on your chat box? Um, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, last but not least, Isaac, anything you want to uh, add <laughs> add to this forum, please? Um, well, I've, well, not much. 
But either way, just, uh, just one suggestion for you: take the chunks. If you're if you if you if you believe yourself to be a quality student, if you're strong in science and background, this is the place to be. Yeah, you won't regret of coming to the coming to Texas Tech. Great. I choose in the future. Okay. Great, great. Thank you very much.、Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I just go with the uh, maybe uh, Miss Long. Anything you want to edit from the last、uh, part, please. No, no more. No, no more to add. Thank you.、Okay. Okay. Okay then. All right. So、uh, once again, thank you very much for all the participants here. Thank you very much for for Mr. Isaac,、uh, Miss Long, and also just now the Professor Hao. So this is、uh, we come up on the right end of our webinar. Thank you, great students and parents, for your participation. Thank you very much for support from、uh, Sustec. We hope you have learned and enjoyed this webinar. Bye, and see you on the next webinar.